As much as I would love to see Patti LuPone's back, I would be absolutely honored. Hello, I'm Claire. Welcome to what I'm calling my coffee corner. I have my coffee. I'm in my corner. And that's about as far as I got with planning on what this was going to be. I think this needs to be scooted back some though. Because if I, okay, hold on. Ah, I like it, it's cute, but I'm not centered. And I should be the center of attention always. That's a lie. I forgot the mic was here. Maybe I should just hold the mic. I should put it on my cup. Oh, but then you're gonna hear me, you're gonna hear me slur. That's kind of gross. Is this cute? Are you gonna hear, you're gonna hear every little. ASMR. Okay, well, welcome to Coffee Corner. I don't know what I'm doing. I just, I, I'm really, I was bored. Um, and I just wanted to, you know what? It's fall. It's, it's a new season, starting something new. And, um, I thought this would be fun because, and uh, you know what? I know what you're thinking. Claire, you live such an uneventful life. What on earth could you talk about for a minute and 30 seconds? Listen, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to talk about for a minute and 30 seconds every week. We're going to challenge me to do this every week. I'm excited that you're meeting my snake plant, who I lovingly call Audrey too. Um, today's drink is coffee, uh, but specifically, it is my favorite coffee. It is by Caribou. It is called Fireside, and you cannot buy it online. So if there's anyone near a Caribou in North Carolina, please send me some. I need it. I thrive off of it. Um, that's it. That's all I got. I thought we talked Broadway. I pretend that I know, no, I do know a little bit about what's going on on Broadway. Um, shows that I'm excited to see. The Roommate? I mean, I don't know, this character for Patty just seems so intriguing to me. And I had a ticket, I did, for a hot second there. And I was like, oh my gosh, what a steal. A 60 something dollar ticket, $50 something ticket for front row at The Roommate? Turns out the seat that I got was only 60 something dollars because there's a chair. That's just right there for the whole show. As much as I would love to see Patti LuPone's back, I would be absolutely honored. Um, that's not what I wanted to, that's not how I wanted to see the show. So we're gonna try again later. Tomorrow I see Cats the Jellicle Ball. Wait, I can get, hold on, hold on. Hold please. Are you ready for this? I'm, you'll be able to hear it, I promise. Hello, school never cats. Honestly, I love that $18 fan. I mean, oh, wrong way. What a beautiful, saddest news ever, The Notebook is closing. If you haven't seen The Notebook, go see The Notebook. Jordan and John are leaving October. No, they're leaving earlier because John starts Moulin Rouge soon. Anyway, well, no, The Notebook closes in December, but they're leaving October, I believe. Their performances are phenomenal. Joy Woods is phenomenal. Like, that show is so good, and I am really not the biggest, like, I'm not a big movie to musicals fan. Oh my gosh, but Ingrid Michaelson's music is gorgeous. I mean, it's just stunning. It rains on stage. Oh, it's just, it's so good. Do you know what I'm so excited for? I know I just said that I don't like movies turned into musicals, but Death Becomes Her is opening soon, and I am so excited for this. I have had 
friends in Chicago go and see it multiple times and they are so excited for it. Like they said it was one of the funniest things they've seen in a while. The movie is only an hour and a half. And weirdly enough, the musical is a whole two and a half hour musical. So that's either a lot of music or they've added more storyline to it. Um, but I watched the They really like Death Becomes Her too. Um, I watched the movie for the first time when I was home a few weeks ago. It's not my favorite movie in the world. Let me start with that one. It's it's not my taste in movies. However, I did find it quite funny. I love Meryl Streep, love Goldie Hawn. Like the idea of it, the it's wonderful. Oh, a wonderful world. Whoa, hello. A wonderful world is opening soon. I love Louis Armstrong. Jazz is another love of mine. Like, probably if I'm walking down the street and you think I'm listening to musical theater, I'm not. I am either listening to my Beach Babes playlist, which my friend Mary and I created. It's like so many hours of just random songs that we love. Most of them are mine because Mary really only added like Beyonce and Harry Styles, whom I love. Um, but now it's just my playlist of things, of like songs that I love. And there's not a single musical theater song on there because that was my goal. Musical theater-esque songs? Yes. But there's not really much, no, there's a little jazz. Anyway, I'm either listening to that playlist or I'm listening to jazz. I really don't listen to musical theater in my headphones. I don't, it just doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't put a pep in my step as much as like, you know, Tate McRae or Sabrina Carpenter. Also, the new Sabrina Carpenter um, album, zero skips. I have zero skips, none, absolutely none. I'm like clutching this coffee because I don't want to hold the handle because of this. Can you hear my soundscape? I turned on a rainy fall soundscape. I love thunderstorms. Don't know why, I used to be absolutely terrified of them. Um, and now I go to sleep with a cute little thunderstorm and fire crackle soundscape. So I will say I woke up this morning and it said it was 62 degrees outside. Ah! How exciting. How exciting. Fall is here. We're in the Burr months. You know what? We always talk about seasonal depression, right? There, is it still seasonal depression if I hate the summer and spring months? Like it, I'm the total opposite. I love when it's cold outside. I love crispy leaves. I love an early sunset. I mean, I don't love an early sunset. Like I do like the daylight, but like the vibe of the burr months, I don't know. My, I awaken during the burr months and it's great. Um, oh, I've been watching Gilmore Girls for the first time. I just started season three last night. I'm a Jess fan. I gotta say, Dean just annoys me, and I'm so sorry to Dean fans. And I know Jess is problematic, but so is Dean, okay? Dean is, like, if the two of them ever got married, like, that would just be such a toxic relationship. I don't like it. I like Dean. I like that he is challenged by her, and I like that she has someone to talk to that isn't Paris who is like smart and reads also love Paris I have a love-hate relationship with all of these characters to be completely honest um Suki is adorable with her wedding and everything and um I do I actually do like Michelle I won't lie he's great he's a fun little side character if you do watch Gilmore Girls and you are a huge fan of the Gilmore Girls you should listen to my friend's podcast. It's called Gilmore to Say. And I don't listen to it because I don't, I don't know Gilmore Girls, although I might start since I've been watching it. I think they're like going through the whole show and just like talking about every episode. I went to a live like podcast recording of the show because I photographed some of it and it was so much fun. It was actually so much fun. I really loved it. They do tour a little bit. I'll, I'll link them. I'll, little, I'll do a little tag somewhere. All right, well, now I've been talking for 12 minutes and I keep thinking that I have nothing to say, but that's just so dumb. I always have something to say. And that, my friends, is me not believing in myself and also being neurospicy.
Can I show you my little knickknacks? I'll do a knickknack of the day. Knickknack of the week. I don't know how many times I'm gonna film this thing. What do we have? Okay, well, we'll start with these little creatures. Oh, this one's a little wonky one. No, we like wonkies. She's fine, she's gorgeous, she's beautiful. As all neuro spicy people do, we find things that we really love, right? And we start them because we think we're gonna love it for for forever this way um and then we lose interest in it just as fast as we gained our interest except now we've spent hundreds of dollars on said project mine was crocheting for a little bit and i learned how to make these cute focus look at how cute it's a little octopus okay and I have so many of them because these take 10 minutes to make and there's so many episodes of Law & Order SVU to watch. So it got to a point where I would just go places to see my friends and I would just chuck it at them. Um, but I also know how to make full-size ones. Look at how cute. I made my friend Hailey one and the tentacles were so long, but for someone who likes like has a touch sensory thing, this fabric or this yarn one so soft but like running your fingers through these tentacles absolutely amazing why didn't i start this sooner i just talk like i'm really making this difficult for me to edit anyway happy fall grab your cup of coffee sit in your corner read listen to music draw watch some gilmore girls and i will see you next time oh and do your connections and your wordle don't forget send it to me how many times did it take you connections have gotten so hard recently like so like why why is it did anyone did anyone solve the one of the seven wonders of the world because well no i think it just said wonders of the world that was a few weeks ago a few days ago a lighthouse is not a wonder of the world What? New York Times, come on. There are seven wonders of the world. Lighthouse? Not one of them. Not, not at all one of them. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. That's all. That's all. <laughs>